Hey Floor Cleaners, it's John here and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 entrepreneurial movies to inspire you and your floor cleaning business to take it to the next level. If you've never heard of me before, my name's John Williams and I run a company called AGB. We specialise in one industry and one industry only, the floor cleaning industry and we specialise in one thing only, getting floor cleaning companies like yours, whether you're a carpet cleaner, a tile cleaner, a hardwood floor cleaner, getting you guys booked out with John jobs on autopilot with our specialist digital marketing system. I'm on a personal mission to try and help as many floor cleaning business owners as humanly possible, not just survive, but thrive, whether that's through working with us on a one-on-one -on -one basis inside our program or through this YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Get the popcorn out. 10 entrepreneur movies you just have to watch in 2022 that will hopefully inspire your floor cleaning business and inspire you to take it to the next level. As winter approaches, the days are getting colder and shorter. We tend to spend more time at home in front of the TV. And what better way to find inspiration for your floor cleaning business than to watch some of the really thought provoking, motivating entrepreneurial movies. Many cinematic masterpieces have brought entrepreneurs challenges, struggles, victories to the big screen, portraying the real life and fictional stories of successful business minds and their quest for success. No matter what stage of your business journey you are currently in with your floor cleaning business, watching these will give you some much needed inspiration and food for thought. In this video, I'm going to recommend you 10 movies I'm sure that you'll enjoy and that you'll find beneficial for your floor cleaning business. So sit back, relax, enjoy, grab the popcorn and get inspired. So number one on my list is found this film tells the story of Ray Kroc, a frustrated but ambitious milkshake mixer salesman from Illinois. After coming across a successful Southern Californian burger joint with a unique production model, McDonald's, Kroc first convinces the founders to franchise the business before eventually taking complete control and transforming it into the most famous fast food chain in the world. What I learned from it, the importance of a unique value proposition. McDonald's was clear on what their clients really wanted, even if they didn't realize it just yet. And that was speed and quality. That is why their business was successful. They knew how to perfectly adapt their value proposition to the needs of their clients. Find your blue ocean. It simply refers to a new or existing market where there is little or no competition. In McDonald's case, they were the world's first fast food chain. They moved away from traditional restaurants, a competitive red ocean market to establish an innovative business. But until that time didn't exist, opening up a completely new market, a blue ocean. And the third and final thing that I learned from this particular film was the power of marketing and branding. Croc knew the importance of creating a unique restaurant experience, but to communicate that message globally, he needed to focus on branding. He achieved it by placing large golden arches on the roof of each of his franchises. That quickly drew the attention of drivers that were passing by. And as well, I just think it, this guy, he had a dream he had ambition and it just goes to show that you know if you really want something if you're really passionate about something if you're really motivated like what you can achieve it is an amazing film about starting growing scaling a business from start to finish and it's great because it's obviously about one of the most famous brands and most famous businesses on planet earth mcdonald's it's definitely something that i found really inspiring and although it's not about like floor cleaning or anything like that some of the challenges that he needs to overcome i'm sure will resonate with many of you because you know, business is business at the end of the day. You know, it doesn't matter what product or service that you're selling. Many of the principles of business are the same for everybody. And so I'm sure that you'll find this a very rewarding film to watch. One of the big inspirational quotes of the movie that I wanted to share with you guys was this, nothing in this world can take the place of good old persistence. Talent won't, nothing's more common than unsuccessful men with talent. Genius won't, unrecognized genius is practically a cliche. Education won't. Why? The world is full of educated fools. Persistence and determination alone are all powerful. And that's so true. You could be the most talented singer or musician. You could be the most talented person on planet Earth that comes up with the best ideas for business. But if you procrastinate and you just can't get off the sofa and actually take action, then it doesn't matter how talented you are. You're still going to be in the same place in 10 years. You could have a Stanford University education. You could go to all the best private schools, get the best grades and everything. But academia will not make you a success 
successful business person. And in fact, I think it's fair to say that some of the most unacademic people have gone on to be some of the most successful entrepreneurs in this planet. And there's a lot of people that say that actually a lot of what is taught in schools today isn't very useful in real life in society. And really the best education that you can get is life and wisdom and experience. Next movie, The Social Network. Harvard graduate Mark Zuckerberg writes a software program where students are invited to rate each other based on looks, which after great success, involves into what we now know today as Facebook. The movie tells of how he is accused of stealing the idea from two brothers, also fellow Harvard students, in addition to the conflict with his friend and co-founder of the company. Now look, we specialize in advertising floor cleaners, carpet cleaners, hardwood floor cleaners, marble floor cleaners, tile cleaners. We specialize in advertising you guys on Facebook specifically. Facebook is the number one social media platform on planet Earth. It's got over 20 billion users and currently alongside Google, it's currently the best platform to advertise on for floor cleaning business. And why is that? Because the age of people that typically are on Facebook and using it every day these days is typically that slightly older audience. The young kids have now migrated to things like TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that. And those young kids that are on TikTok and Instagram, they're not your ideal customer, right? They don't own their own property. They don't have like expensive hardwood floors or marble or tile that needs cleaning. It's their parents that do. And their parents, that older generation, they're using Facebook. This is where most of your customers are, floor cleaners on Facebook. Considering many of you actively use it to promote your floor cleaning business, it's a very interesting film to watch to understand the birth and the development and the growth of this platform that's so important to so many of us. So what I learned from watching the film myself, detect a market. Zuckerberg understood university life revolved around gossip and wanted to create an online platform where these rumors could be made public. The social network managed to create a feeling of exclusivity when nobody wanted to miss out by not being on the platform. And that urge among the students to be an insider of the network boost, it boosted the platform to a whole new level of popularity super fast. So because there was this thing of exclusivity, it really just created that feeling of like scarcity and people just wanted to be on it and it just made it triple popular very, very quickly overnight. Maintaining the value proposition is another thing that I learned. A problem facing many entrepreneurs is finding a way to monetize their products. Very quickly, one of Zuckerberg's co-founders figured they could do this by attracting companies to advertise on the platform, something Zuckerberg thought would harm the product. Be careful when starting a business with close friends or family because it can really take its toll on your relationship in the long run. Sometimes you can start with one vision of how to manage and grow your business working as a team, but then that can change and you might be faced with a big challenge of balancing the relationship that you've got with that person, whether they're a brother, a sister, a husband, a wife, and of course the work-related disagreements that you're having with that person. Having a business partner is something that's very, very difficult and having a business partner that is actually a family member is even more difficult. I actually recently put a post on Facebook on my own personal profile and I asked carpet cleaners, if you could go back, what would you tell the younger version of yourself? What advice would you give a younger version of yourself? And one guy actually commented, he actually posted and said, the thing that I would tell my younger self was not to work with family members. So yeah, I think that's definitely something to learn from this movie as well. So the cool movie, go check it out. You'll really enjoy it. And it kind of tells you the story about the birth of Facebook. Number three, now I love this movie. I thought it was awesome. It's called Fire, the greatest party that never happened. I believe it's on Netflix. Fire, the festival was supposed to be the greatest music festival ever, organized by a guy called Billy McFarland and rapper Yar Rule. The luxury music festival was promoted on Instagram by celebrities, and social media influencers, including Kendall Jenner, Bella Hadid, and Emily. The only problem is it was all a scam devised by McFarland, who had a history of starting up fraudulent business ventures. What I learned from this film was great marketing sells big. Fire Festival was a new event on the block. It usually takes a number of years for things like that to become big and known among festival goers. But Fire had great marketing from the very start, thanks to the enormous fan base of the social media influencers. We can't estimate the role of great promotion and social media campaigns that were used in boosting this festival. And one of the things that you'll see when you watch this is really the importance and the power of marketing done right. And I hope that from watching this documentary,
country, you'll really understand that and you'll really come across. And once you understand that and you understand the impact that it could have on your business, if you act on it, if you implement it, I think it could be a real kind of game changer. So like with Fire, these guys, they didn't have any festival. Like they didn't have the location. They didn't have anybody booked. They didn't have anything. But just by leveraging social media, leveraging influencers, leveraging an amazing digital marketing campaign, they were able to create a massive fucking buzz, a huge buzz. So if you think about that in terms of like your floor cleaning business, if you would just take that step, if you put together an amazing digital marketing campaign, I just did a video on that, do you know what I'm saying as well? One of my other videos, go check it out. But if you put together a really good social media campaign that really, if you know your audience, if it really resonates with them, if you're putting out value content, engaging content, you can really blow up your floor cleaning business. You can take it to the absolute next level. Why do you think I'm making this video? I'm doing the same thing, right? And then if you tie that in with paid advertising as well, i.e. working with us, we know what works when it comes to getting floor cleaning businesses booked out on social media. Sign up with us and you will have that effect, that fire festival effect on your business. The only difference is, whereas these guys didn't have no festival and it was just like a scam and the whole thing was a total mess, you've got a real business. So you're going to deliver on your promise. Working with us, you'll have an amazing marketing system that's generating you tons of jobs, but you've also got the amazing business to actually back that marketing up. So big thing to learn on this video is, yeah, how important and the power of great marketing. The next thing that I figured out that I learned from this was to maintain a healthy reputation of your business, stay away from making promises and not delivering a good product. Billy McFarland was a dubious character who made misleading promises and misrepresented facts just to sell expensive tickets to an affluent audience. He had no experience, skills, or even the attitude to manage a music festival of this scale and magnitude. So yeah, it's about being able to deliver the product and the service, which is kind of what I just said. And then the third thing was the importance of balanced investments. As the film shows, investing a huge amount of money in marketing and advertising without making any investment into actually improving the product is a recipe for disaster. If your floor cleaning business isn't equipped to deal with a fully booked schedule, if your business isn't equipped to deal with certain types of properties or homes or types of carpet or tile, if you don't have certain machines that enable you to carry out particular services, then you shouldn't market or advertise like that, you know, suggesting that you can do all of that stuff because it will bite you in the ass. I think the key thing here is, is that making sure that you've got a great product and service that will deliver on its promise is like number one. And then number two, like really understanding as demonstrated in this film, the power of great marketing and advertising and what that can do and the power of that and what it might be like working with us. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button down below so that you get notified when the next video comes out. And if you'd like to find out a little bit more about working with us on a one-on-one -on -one basis, if you want more jobs for your carpet cleaning business, your hardwood floor cleaning business, shoot down to the description below as well where you'll also find a link to schedule a call with us so that we can run you through how everything works and get you signed up. Speak to you soon.